What upsetting things have your friends told you casually? One day me and my buddies decided to go out to the movies and everyone pre-ordered their tickets. When we showed up one of my buddies let's call him Josh said he was gonna be late but hell show up. For anyone wondering it was Avatar the way of water we were watching. We all started making fun of Josh and saying he's going to miss out on the movie. Halfway through he casually walked in and sat next to us, but his hair was messed up and there was wrap on his arms and he was slightly limping, but it was dark so we couldn't see much. Turns out Josh got into a car wreck, totaled his car, and ended up calling a Uber after filling out the accident report. When he texted he was running late that's when he was filling out the accident report. Then brushed the whole conversation off so he could watch the movie and didn't explain fully until the movie was over. It wasn't my friend, but rather his parents he odd in July 22 after giving depression a run for its money. Devastated me. He was my best friend and we did everything together. In the following October, his parents reached out to me and told me they found his journal and just wanted me to know that he planned to do it while I was on holiday because he knew it was the only time I wouldn't be able to stop him. And that was the end of that conversation just called me up like it was no biggie, drop that bomb. And that's the last I've heard from them. You're like, my favorite friend here. No. Wait. Second. Or maybe third like GL I didn't even need to know the first part, damn. Had this friend that would bang anything that moved. We were a mall one night and he just bolts. We finally caught back up and he said he saw a woman that he had a kid with, but didn't pay any kind of child support and took off on her. Not a friend, but, 16 year old kid on meth at a youth homeless shelter I was at talked about how his dad beat his mom to death. He spoke like he was talking about any other old thing. I've not felt so bad for someone before then. He was given no chance at life and he was just a kid. I had a friend who was in a long distance relationship. I was talking to him once and he was like yeah I went to a bar and got to talking with the bartender. We hit it off well and I took her home and we banged. I was like what about your girlfriend? Oh, the bartender doesn't really matter they didn't have an open relationship agreement or anything. Admitting to hitting their cat when the cat did something bad. My one friend said he's probably never going to hang out with me or invite me to the group hangouts and all that ever again, because I moved too far away and for reference I moved less than 20 minutes away and we are all grown men. That I seek attention way too much and that my insecurities are irrelevant because a man shouldn't put his focus there. I don't know if this is considered casual, but just about every time I go to the beach or a pool with a certain friend, she loves to scream out hey everyone look at Kid a Dreamer. She has no ass. And everyone looks and kinda laughs while I am standing there fucking mortified. It's really upsetting and for some reason I stay friends with her. Driving by slums in the Philippines and was asking my rich relatives who I was writing with if the government is helping them. Their response was, no worries they suffer now, but they'll be rewarded in heaven which pissed me off. In that friend, I was as casual as one can get when I told my friends my dog were dead, was devastated, but wasn't able to express it at the time. Not my friend but my niece. She's 11 and has some emotional issues and trauma, and she just casually mentions cutting herself like it's any old Tuesday. Then she doesn't understand why auntie has to go in another room and cry. That her husband why into bestiality and they have a small farm. I felt legit traumatized. Years ago, a friend told me that her parents named her brother after their father. She later told me that she had an older half-brother with the same name. Her dad had an affair, left his wife and son, then allowed new wife to give the new son the same name. Friend then stated her older brother wasn't close to the family because his mother poisoned his mind. You're getting fat. I used to be a lot curvier, but I lost a noticeable amount of weight. Drove an hour to meet an old friend I hadn't seen in several years. She brought up her MLM supplements that help you lose weight. I said I've already lost over 25 pounds, can you tell? She said I mean your skin looks a lot less red now. Okay bye, BTCH. We were neighbors having a conversation about a family that lived nearby that had been there a while. He said something along the lines of you when they moved in that girl was in preschool soon she'll be driving. It's a shame she's not hot. If she was going to be it would've happened by now. For context I was in my 30s and he was at least 10 years older than me. We're not friends anymore. My sister thinks it's okay to bring up the fact that she may or may not have let her guy friend have sex with me at her house while I was drunk or her boyfriend went to bed. Leaving me to do who knows what. He told them that I asked him to FCK me in the air uh, which I don't even talk like that to repeat it to me like him some slut triggers me. They also said I slapped him. Which makes me think somewhere he crossed the line. It was my very first time meeting that person I've been blacked out before refused sex. So hearing lies like that pisses me off, the guy isn't even attractive. 
my actual boyfriend was coming to get me that night, why on earth would my entire personality change just for this one person? It didn't. Either he's lying on me or he took advantage of me. I guess it's okay because it's her boyfriend's psycho friend. I'm some drunk slut. So I deserve to be taken advantage of or blatantly lied on shamed about shit I didn't encourage or remember. She went as far as telling me my clothes were on the couch I just feel rage sadness that she thinks any of that is cool nothing bad happened. It's weird that's fucking traumatic she brought it up like it was a fun drunken night. WTF. Had a love interest tell me she used to have a thing for cocaine that got out of hand once or twice in the past. Mentioned it right after we had wild sex during the afterglow period.